Hey guys, what's up? Today this is, as I promised, another iOS app development video and today I'm going to be finally covering the basics of the table view. Now I haven't done a video on table views before and I thought it would be appropriate to start because it's a pretty big thing uh, in making apps. It's great for displaying data and quite easily too. So today this is just the basics and if you guys like it I'll do another video with more advanced stuff and so on so we'll see how that goes uh, also I know I excuse me <coughs> wow uh, I know I have not been posting more than one video a week so far I'm trying to get that up I I'm trying to get my stuff together you know I'm pretty busy so I'm sorry about that you guys just bear with me um also I want to start expanding my horizons as I've said in a few other videos and I know some of you guys have been asking for like how to make graphics in Photoshop or Illustrator as you can see um, and I I'm pretty rusty so I want to brush up on my skills and then uh, sometime in the near future I want to get started on some of those um, like UI design and icon design so uh, we'll see also um, yeah, that's it. So let's let's just jump right in. We're gonna select a master detail application. Um, now you can add it to one of your own apps. You don't necessarily have to uh, select a master detail application, but um, it requires a few things that aren't preloaded. As you can see, this template has a table view already preloaded and a lot of stuff already set up for you. So it's quite nice. Um, now just call it table view would be fine it doesn't really matter device family you can choose that and um, automatic reference counting checked off so now we're just gonna click create sorry about that guys I had to cut the video for a second because my computer like freezes up sometimes I'm not sure exactly what it was doing so anyways we're okay now and let's jump right in now I want to go over I have a few um, things that I want to go over that you should know when you're um, creating a table view. Wow, I, I can't even think. Um, you should probably have a good understanding, at least a, a pretty good understanding, of the NS arrays and the NS mutable arrays. Um, they're pretty much the same thing except for NS array. Uh, NS mutable array is, well, mutable. It allows you to add objects whenever you like and delete objects whenever you like with a very simple line of code. So that could be very good for adding cell objects and deleting them. But um, we're not going to get into the NS mutable array today. Um, probably in our next video if you'd like me, uh, of course, to show you a more advanced table view. Um, so let's, uh, let's run it without even touching a single line of code and see what happens my computer uh, again was really getting all buggy on me I don't know why I don't know what's up but this should I think I fixed it so this should be the last interruption so um, as I was saying let's 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 run this and look at how it works when we run it just from a basic template as you can see it already preloads it excuse me with one uh, cell that you can tap on and it um, presses to this detail view and you can go back and uh, that's pretty much the extent of what it gives you but it's nice that it gives you a nice uh, starting point um, so we're really not going to be dealing much with the detail view controller because it doesn't have much to do with what I want to teach you um, right now which is the table view and learning how to populate it and customize it but we'll get uh, we'll get into that other stuff at a later uh, in another video so um, let's jump right into our master view controller dot M and let's scroll down a little bit and we will find our first um, method um, that will customize the number of sections in our table view and you can make it return a number so now we just have one section let's say we want two sections excuse me um, so we would type return two and so on whatever 
whatever number you want. Um, also, below that we can see we can customize the m number of rows in our section. Now let's type 3. Now you can return the number of objects in an array or many other things. Of course, you can get creative with that. So now let's run that. Actually, let's go into our master view controller.xib. And in here you can do a lot of customization um, just with Interface Builder. So we can select the so style uh, that you would like. Um, grouped, uh, I'm going to select grouped because it paint a better picture of what uh, we're doing here. And you can select the separators and the selection. But, you know, play around with that and get used to it. So let's run this. And as you can see, two different um, sections with three rows per section, as we said right in our detail view. I mean, sorry, master view controller dot m. Um, so we can just delete those for now. We'll come back to that in a minute. And below that, we can customize the um, cell itself like its text and its style. So right here we're creating this cell and we can select the style of our cell. Right now it's a default but let's say we wanted something different. So we can do UI table table view cell style and then we could do let's, let's select subtitle. So that'll allow us to add a subtitle under our main text label and I'll show you I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Now you can select the accessory accessory type. Um, you can customize this uh, m numerous amount of ways, but there's some um, preloaded ways as well. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can do right now is just that disclosure in indicator. So we can do U UI table view cell accessory. You could do none indicator disclosure button or check mark let's let's just select check mark and see how that loads now we can set our uh, text label dot text and we can just do of course whatever you want let's just do hello world and below that we're gonna do cell which is our cell dot detailed text label which is a little you'll see a little label under this main text label dot text equals at what's up so that's a very easy way to customize our cell in a basic manner so let's run it right now and see what we've done so as you can see this is our main text label as we said hello world and this is our detailed text label and as we said we wanted to say what's up it still has the same action and as you can see the uh, accessory is a check mark now we can change that uh, as I showed you but that's how to customize a cell very easily um, I also want to show you a few other things down here you can uncomment these I'm not gonna show you in this I'll explain it but I'm not gonna go in depth in this uh, video but uh, again in a future video so in this method what we can do is we can support editing of the table view like such as if we swipe and we can delete a row and um, you can just uncomment this and mess around with the code in there again next video um, here you can also override the rearranging of the table view which is quite self-explanatory and here uh, did select row at pet at index path what what it will do it is uh, for each cell that you tap it will do an action it will uh, execute an action now you can set it to a specific cell does a specific action um, but it gets pretty complicated so again uh, I'll show you in the next video but I just wanted to give you a nice overview of the table view and how it works. Um, now let's let's say we wanted to populate our table view with more than just one.
basic text label and one detailed text label. What if we want it more? Let's create an array in our master view controller dot h. So after UI table view controller, we're gonna just do open curly bracket and close that. Inside we can just do an NS array and we can call it my array or of course whatever you like. And that's all we need in our dot h. Now we're gonna go back into our dot m and go down into our uh, muted load um, right here. So first we're gonna initialize our array. So we're gonna do my array equals NS array array NS array a lock, sorry. In it with ob with objects and now we can do maybe let's say cat the next one comma remember separate them with the comma dog next one hello next one fish I know these are really random and the list can go on and on of course end it with nil okay so now we made out an array and stored um, five strings in our array now you might say how do we display this in our uh, table view it's actually quite easy so we're gonna do table view number of rows in section we're gonna go down to this method and we're gonna return the number of string a number of objects in our array which is now at four and so what we're gonna do is return bracket my array count so we'll return the count of our array no matter what uh, um, however many um, however many or however few um, objects you have in an array in your array and now we want to display the text uh, each different text which is you know cat dog each in a different cell so what we're gonna do is um, let's just switch it back to UI table full view cell st style default let's just do that for purposes of making it a little more clear but of course you can go back and edit this um, so we can do cell dot text label dot text equals my array object at index index path row so what this will do is it will sorry I forgot to close those it will do it what it will do is it will get for each row it will get the uh, arrays are stored the best way I can explain this is arrays are stored in um, in numerical order so like this cat would be zero dog would be one two three four etc and we're gonna get our um, our object for whatever row it is so for row zero it will display cat for the next row it will automatically know that and it's very easy to do for row you know one it'll be dog for row two it'll be hello and so on so let's run that and see if we did this successfully make sure as you can see our table view is nicely loaded up with our all our array our all our objects in an array and it displays perfectly so just to prove it to you I'm gonna delete one let's say delete fish as you can see it automatically just goes back to three we can add it and of course get creative with this so that um, that is the basics of the table view I hope you enjoyed if I left anything out please uh, comment or shoot me a message um, I am open to all suggestions and create uh, you know constructive criticism is great so I can improve my quality uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed this just shoot me a message or leave a comment saying if you would like to see more of these table view series so we can go more in depth so I hope you enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon